Today we're going to talk about Dave Ramsey, the financial guru. Now, if you don't know who Dave Ramsey is, he is one of the most well-known financial gurus. And when I first heard about Dave Ramsey, it was actually in high school and it was in my finance class and everything Dave said made sense. But I also didn't understand finance. I didn't understand real estate investing or investing in general. And now that I'm in a place where I understand all that, I went back and looked at what Dave had to say back to my high school self. And I'm not going to say what he says is completely wrong, uh, but some of it is very misleading and he really doesn't give the best advice in today's world. And I'm going to show you why Dave's strategy will make you a millionaire at 60 years old when you really can becoming a millionaire in your 20s, 30s, and 40s. There's no limit to it. And I'm going to show you why Dave holds people back from doing so. He shuts it down because of his experience when he once was a real estate millionaire own money from real estate a lot of people don't know that i'm going to show you why he failed and he'll even tell you why he failed but why now he preaches against it so we're going to cover all that because i went back and looked like i said at his channel and i'm mm, i'm just not impressed so make sure to smash that like button smash that subscribe button that way you don't miss anything finance making money real estate creative ways to invest in real estate with no money investing stocks all that on this channel so make sure you do all that that way you do not miss a beat but really guys got six hundred dollars here using that on all my uh, thumbnails uh, no to be honest that's actually fake money so let's turn that fake money into real money and get the channel monetized so do your part smash that like button smash that subscribe button you know what to do So Dave Ramsey pitches the American dream, which is live below your means, pay off all your debt, max out your 401k or your retirement plan and retire wealthy, retire a millionaire and enjoy your few years of retirement. But that information isn't bad. He can get you there. But also let's go back to where Dave started his life at dave was born into a silver spoon family which there is nothing wrong at all uh, but that was actually the reason for his downfall so dave started investing real estate in his 20s and he started really stacking his real estate and doing a very good job and he'll even say he was getting approved for loans that he really shouldn't have gotten approved for because his family had a little bit of pool with a local bank so Dave was doing well. He owned millions of dollars of real estate and was, like I said, doing extremely well for loans that he really shouldn't have qualified for in the first place. So the bank got sold and they looked and they're like, why does this kid have all this real estate? And he doesn't really qualify for these loans that he's getting. So the bank then tried to take back or did take back those loans. And Dave was left with all this debt that he could not pay. And he had to file for bankruptcy. So now Dave has in his head that debt is so bad and debt is the worst thing on earth and can destroy your life if you have any debt at all. All because he got debt that he wasn't even qualified for. So that's where Dave got his start in uh, in real estate and the start of his career. So after that, Dave then started being a financial guru and talking about finances because he filed for bankruptcy. He was able to build up more money and was smart with his money and wasn't buying any real estate unless it was paid off in full. And then he became a multimillionaire selling this advice on really everything against debt. He hates debt. And uh, that's the part that I disagree with because there is a lot of good debt out there. So I'll hear people that are young and want to take a calculated risk and run a business, which they can put themselves and their family in a position where they can create general generational wealth and they will completely shut them down and say, no, that's a bad idea. It's too risky. You can lose everything. And again, he he's pitching outdated information and is pitching that American dream that again is so outdated.
Dave has these baby steps to where you follow each step and basically you're going to eliminate debt, you're going to max out your 401k, you're going to have an emergency fund and save up for your kids to go to college. But he kind of is against that advice as well. On his show, he'll actually say, you know, I bet, you know, he values education. You gotta go to college. Everybody's gotta go to college. But at the same time, people will come on his show with tons of student loan debt and he will actually laugh at them on his show. He'll laugh and chuckle when they say these things. It's almost like he's judging super hard every single person that comes on a show and doesn't look at a person like hey people make mistakes like it happens okay not everybody makes the best decisions people go to college and change degrees and find themselves in a lot of debt it happens but you're trying to help them yet you're laughing at them when they come on or chuckling at what their degree was and that it makes no money but that's kind of going against what you're trying to do in this you know to be helping people and also when it comes to college he pitches college but today college isn't super affordable it's really not and dave's kids went to college but he's able to afford to pay cash and they also went to tennessee where he went to so i'm able i'm sure he was able to pull some strings in order to make that education probably a little bit more affordable or free who knows things that make you go hmm and the new age way of thinking is I think college is not for everybody. And there's a lot of people that I know that are very successful and they have degrees that they're not even using. And all that did was hold them back and create a lot of debt uh, for them early on in their life. And to be honest, if you've got a plan and reason you're not going to college, and it's not just because you're lazy. If, you, if you're just being lazy and don't want to go to college, I don't think that's necessarily the best thing to do. But if you have a plan on what you want to do on the reason you're not going to college, I think it's perfectly okay because we do need trades. And I mean, look at a lot of real estate investors and a lot of these investors, they don't necessarily use their degrees. They don't need degrees in order uh, to invest. Another thing that I disagree with that Dave preaches is that, is that credit cards are bad and they're horrible and you should never have a credit card. I completely disagree with this advice because if you can pay your credit card off in full every single month, month and just treat it like a debit card, it'd be stupid not to have a credit card. You've got to build credit history and the way Dave preaches, you're not building any type of credit history. And also, Look at the benefits. I know Dave says, I've never seen a millionaire off credit card reward points. Okay, yeah, that's true. It's not gonna make you a millionaire, but if you're able to pay off in full every single month, why wouldn't you get 5% back on gas that you spend and you're already gonna spend it anyways? You might as well get a little bit of something back as long as you're not looking at these reward points as, oh, I can spend more money because I'll get more credit card reward points. I also just watched a recent clip from one of his shows where one of the co-hosts said something along the lines of, I've never seen anyone go in debt with a debit card, something along the lines of that. The debit card can do the exact same thing as credit card. The only thing a debit card cannot do is put you in debt. That just isn't true. Have you ever heard of overdraft? Just because you have a debit card, it doesn't mean you, you, you can't go in debt. So Dave just preaches outdated advice and he teaches that his way, it's his way or the highway and every single other thought that comes on his show is just shut down and simply wrong. And he'll laugh and chuckle at people if they think otherwise or say another very viable way of spending or using their money or investing their money. Also, Dave gives really like cliche and basic answers to every single person that calls into a show. And if they have any type of debt or whatever, he's instantly going to go to, well, I need you to focus on living below your means and paying off that debt, baby step number, whatever, number one or number two, whatever it is. And it's just very cliche. It seems like every single answer is the same with Dave. And you know, just because Dave was really bad with real estate and was really obtaining loans that he wasn't even qualified for, he all of a sudden think that real estate investing is bad. And he teaches that, okay, yes, you can have a real estate property as soon as all your debts paid off, you have your emergency fund and everything, you can invest in a property, but you need to pay it off in full before you buy the next one. Then you look at a guy like Grant Cardone, who was another guy in high school that I had seen being like a financial guru. And now I look at Grant Cardone, I was like, this guy is a genius and he made it happen with real estate and he has a hundred million dollars more in net worth than dave ramsey 
And what Grant Cardone did is he mastered leveraging his money in real estate and continues to do that. So the reason Grant Cardone was so successful is he leveraged his money in real estate to extreme levels, uh, 10x levels. That's his that's his uh, his line is 10x. That's his uh, his motto. And he's able to raise private money, come in and buy tons of real estate. And that's made him successful and it clearly works. So there's more than one way to skin a cat. And that's why I think that Dave's vice isn't bad. It's not going to make you broke, but it definitely is not going to make you rich and create generational wealth like Grant Cardone does. So anyways, I hope you enjoy the video and understand where I'm coming from to why I disagree with the way Dave Ramsey teaches. And on this channel, we're going to teach you how to create generational wealth. And you can follow me on my journey to creating generational wealth. And watch the steps that I take when you have very little money on how you can leverage your money and have very little money, how you can make a lot happen, especially in real estate and investing with very little money. You don't need a lot of money. You just got to think and be creative. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, until next time, Evan Dante signing out. Peace. Peace.